think this would be a good coaching moment. So when we had that downtime right there, we went to go talk to the manager. We don't do that. Well, no, I didn't. No, no, there's no there excuses. Out here I don't care. If there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. Mm. I think this would be... Mm. Preach that gospel. If there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. I feel as though we all got that one coworker. We all got that one coworker. Old teacher's pet ass. Hey, uh, we're done doing this. What else do you want us to do? Shut the f up. If you got a coworker like that, he's a potential confidential informant. He is a CI. Don't sleep. It's some of y'all looking at this video right now in denial. <laughs> it's some of y'all got paperwork on your name right now in the HR office. Snitching, <laughs> complaining and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Don't be that coworker, man. So you know my friend, right? Yeah, that's the homie. That's the homie. You were not calling me homie last night. Let's be so. I was too afraid to post this update because he's crazy. And he know where I live. But I would just keep one eye open. So let's get into it. Me and the girl decided to go to the restaurant a little bit before him so we can figure out our game plan. We decided in order to surprise him, I was gonna wait in the bathroom until she texts me when he's here. He texts me to come out, and girl, I felt like I was a part of the show to catch a cheater, and I was being unveiled as the other woman. The absolute look of shock and terror on his face when I sat down like this. Obviously, tried to compose himself because he was like, "Oh, what's up, bro?" I was like, "Oh, so you know him?" He was like, "Oh, yeah, that's the homie. You heard it." And the girl looked at each other and said, "Comfortable. We pull up the proof, timelines, receipts of him literally leaving my house to go to hers, lying, denying, begging, doing whatever he can to get out of the situation." Me and the girl are tired of it, so we just get up, pay at the front, and leave. Actually, I really like this girl, so we're hanging out for a few more hours. Tell me why when we're hanging out, he texts both of us, what are y'all doing together? Let's all leave. Text this man an address about an hour away. Say, yeah, pull up without a hangout. We never showed up to that location. <laughs> so you know my friend, right? Fellas, if you cross the street, go ahead and cross the street. Don't double back. One thing I realized about these gay dudes from me getting on the internet, they not going to hesitate to tell the world that you like playing in peanut butter. They gonna tell everybody that you like peanut butter, bro. So, yeah, if you crossing the street, go ahead and cross the street, man. How old are you? I'm 24. 27. How's your meets? So, funny story. I used to be engaged, and he was the stripper at my bachelor party. And then we met, and so the wedding fell apart. So now he's your man. And this is my man now. So how the hell... Wait, hold on. Wait a minute now. Um, I ain't even hating. I thought strippers were supposed to be in shape. Let me find out. I can go to amateur night. Did he manage to persuade you out of your I mean, you soon should, to be marriage? You should see him dance. It was. It's, it's really on the hips and your confidence. It's in the hips. Was your relationship already failing at that point, or what? I mean, we were, like, three months away from being wed, but I think that, like, we had such a connection at my bachelorette party that it was something unlike anything that I had felt in a, in a prior relationship. So I was giving her a dance, and really while listening to her troubles, Am I sure? really picked up that something was wrong, and it took more time than necessary. I gave her free time, and that's really when I... You know, we really connected. So you don't ever fear that the same thing might happen to you? <laughs> For my next bachelorette party, maybe no more male strippers. Maybe not. <laughs> you know what? Don't hate the player, hate the game. You stole somebody's fiance, and now you plan on getting married to her. Obviously, she's not loyal, but you know... How you get them is how you lose them. If we was in a relationship, how long do you think it will last? You Jamaican, you don't know. Oh, number. she. We not lasting. I'm cheating on you. Who am I little horrible crush? Why well, thought we had some going? And then you're going to ask me why, and I'm going to be like, he risked his life for me. He wanted the kid. He rather had. Because I said. You, you get what I'm saying? Nah, I want to. Well, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Uh, Y'all remember her. She made guest appearances in a few of these videos, man. Uh, this is Miss You Won't Make It Past Three Strokes. It's a few of y'all that have been in the comment section, and y'all agree with me. She probably not lying. <laughs> and she Hispanic, so you already know what time it is, bro. You know them Hispanic crazy. She probably had your ass walking backwards. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a tater tot waffle. I'm really, really too nice, bro. Like, breakfast sandwich on a honey. 
So first, get some butter on your waffle maker. Cook your tater tots in the oven for a little bit. Then we're going to throw it in the waffle maker with some cheese. You want to press this down and cook it for about five or six minutes or until it get crispy. Add the egg. Then we're going to slide in with a little bit of that turkey bacon. Get some turkey bacon. Just think about it. And when I say, when I open my sandwich restaurant, bro, it's over. You know I got the best. Stop playing me for real. Like, it really get like that with me. Hey, yo, son. Stop smoking, son. Stop smoking. Matter of fact, keep smoking. <laughs> I misspoke. Keep smoking. That is crazy. The fact that you even thought about that. I know. I know you be smoking gas. I am definitely about to try that. That that looks crazy. I like to smoke gas. I don't know. Like, it's 11 o'clock. You said you get out with 10. Where you been? Like, you ain't even bring no food. Finish the shooting. You ain't been working that dog on hard. Ain't even out for hell. You had time to put the shoe on. And since you want to throw her up, yeah, she needs some hamburgers and she needs some food. Something that apparently I don't need since she didn't bring me none. Now this is a skit. It don't be quite as dramatic because she is talking a mile a minute. But this is in the realm of truth. This is why when niggas get out of work, they sit in that car for at least 15 to 20 minutes before they come in the house. Can I get an amen? This is why. Because you know you're going to have to deal with some shit. You're going to have to listen to some story that you probably ain't even trying to hear, but you don't want to be rude. Ladies, think about it now. I work 12 hours a day. I come home. I'm trying to go to sleep. Or I'm trying to get on this PlayStation. I just want some peace and some quiet. I don't want to hear about your day. No offense. I really don't give a f But I can't tell you that because now you're going to hold a hostage. Now I got to sit here and act like I care and act like I want to listen. Just... So I could, I could secure the p at a later date. And there's no such thing as trans. Why don't you think so? Because they're just people pretending to be something they're not. <laughs> what is this gender identity? What, what is that? Somebody explain that to me. Show it to me on the body. It's not a real thing. It's an idea, right? I am not an idea in a man's head. My reality is real. My body is real. The things that I live with, the things that I go through are unique to me and all the women here. You know? A man will never experience that. Because a man feels like a girl that he is a girl, it's ludicrous. So I don't use the word. I say men pretending to be or women pretending to be because that's all it is. You're pretending to be something that you're not. We, they are literally creating babies that are now entering the foster care system. That's like the solution. What, what do you think that is? We go back to reality. There's men and there's women. Everybody else is just pretending to be something they're not. In law, there's no such thing as gender. It's sex, period. That's, that's where we have to go. Back to reality. Men are men, women are women, period, end of. We've gathered here today to protest the ACLU, who we have identified as the legal strong arm of the gender industry and agenda. Uh, they have been representing men's rights to access women and girls' private spaces, such as mm. locker rooms, bathrooms, mm. prisons, rape shelters. We are being told that our ability to consent, no, no one asked us if these men could enter our spaces, mm. and if they did, ask us we would say no <laughs> so in that sense listen when it comes to that i really try to mind my business because especially with what i do being in the public eye it's easy for them folks to get the pitchfork and and, and light your ass on fire you feel what i'm saying that low-key happened to me before because when i was doing youtube before i told a story uh, about a situation i encountered in atlanta they pretty much you know <laughs> They, 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 they did what they did, bro. My channel took a, a nosedive. So I try to watch what I say. But I've been to the gas station and it is so weird when you see a, when you see a, a man in a dress walk out the lady's bathroom and you see little girls walk out their bathroom also. I remember one particular time I was at Quick Trip and I saw how uncomfortable. Now, this little girl had to have been about 10. I saw how uncomfortable she looked walking out the bathroom with a trans woman. I don't think you should have access to things that women 
have access to because you feel like you're a woman. Like, I don't, I don't think that's right, man. It's about you. Shoot. So I was in the process of shooting a video, and um, anyway, I fuck all the backstory. I'm in Old Faithful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know. Okay, it's my paid off baby. Ain't nothing wrong with having a paid off baby, okay? But I'm about to go get my other car that I had worked on. Usually when you say you had your car worked on, it, it sounds like, you know, it's having mechanical issues. No. My challenger was not having mechanical issues. I just wanted to uh, make it unique. But before we go over there, we got to go to the city. I got to go pick my boy Femi up. And then Femi is going to follow me to go pick up my challenger. Y'all see, see baby boy back there? So baby boy is fascinated with cars. And his, what's your favorite car, big guy? An uh, SRT or Hellcat? An uh, SRT Hellcat. And uh, the Orange King has numerous SRT Hellcats. So I feel as though, you know, as a treat to my son, I wanted him to actually see an SRT Hellcat because he, he just been fascinated by those cars. And I don't have an SRT Hellcat. I have a regular RT. Bro, I've been waiting on this man for damn near an hour. He got doing? snacks in his hand. Take it to thank you, thank you, say Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't say nothing. Your guys, your and fanny pack with that string up. With the what? The string up. You know what's in here? Yeah. Twenty eighth Street Gucci bag. Yeah. Why you got two B fatty? Cause I'm a big nigga. You feel me? Yo, yo, hold up. Yo, get why this man got two beef patties and Hawaiian bread, bro? What you doing? Trying to, you know what I mean? Get the weight up. Come on, let's go, man. Nick's is playing, you know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 your phone got on um, battery? Yeah. My shit on 12%, so. You got no charger? No, bro. Did you, this is, look, the, the, uh, the, what you call the, it don't um, work. Thing lighter don't work? Yeah, the smoke detector, the smoke light. Cigarette what you call it? Cigarette, cigarette lighter? lighter? Yeah, that shit don't work. That's why. It's all good. It gave me from point A to point B. Yo, I'm saying, you know, though. You don't got a cord? I have one. I don't know what it says. None of that shit works. So it's not him? Nah, it's not him. Yo, you dead ass? Alright, let me get up. Let me let me yeah. get a piece of beef patty at least. Fuck out of here, So you can't come in here with two beef patties and not share, son. Let me get it. Let me get a. At least let my son get a Hawaiian roll. God damn. Yeah, bro. the little man get one. Take him, give it. And don't give it to your puppy. Don't fuck me, Yeah, let him get a home. Yeah, pass it this way. Okay, yeah. Let me get a piece. That's <laughs> nigga. Let me get a piece. That's why you want to suck. Here's your piece, man. That's the thing, boy. I love you. You can have the rest. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna be a whole crowd, though. 
fire. Yo. Damn. Any issues with your boy? When you ready to do some more up, right? When you want to yeah. wrap it or something? Let me know. Yeah, I'm crazy. probably going to put a on... Um, Kill switch? Yeah, that's probably be the next one. Where he at? Bro, I know you ain't going this man car. Oh, he's pulling the top down. Bro, hold on. <laughs> yo, yo. Okay, you do too much. They got lights. You like the lights? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Don't, don't. That ain't daddy car. You like it, though? Ah, right, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, this man. I didn't even know you had nitrous in this. Oh, you we just did this. I really just did this. We'll go oh, ahead and get, yeah. Oh, my God. Bruh. I know you like that. You like that? Yo. Yes, sir, little man. Yo. Oh, this is going crazy. All right, y'all, it's the next day. <laughs> it's the next day. Let's give y'all a quick update. Um... Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. I really like it. Right now, I'm waiting for my wife and friend. We finna go get something to eat. First off, bro, shout out to the Orange King. All right, that's the first thing I wanna say. Shout out to the Orange King. But going to the Orange King's house, just interacting with 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 Sean, bro. Like he really, it's actually like inspiring. The rooftop, you gotta have the ambiance all the time with the scent too. Oh, uh, um, I think it's for my work clothes. I smell like your sweat, though. It smell like sweat? Mm -hmm. Oh, so probably falling out play ball. Damn. All right. All right. The color done settled down now. You know what I mean? We got rid of the rainbow. Hey, let me tell y'all something. So, first, I shout out to the Orange King, right? And um, when I first seen the car and everything, I was like, oh, this shit fire. You feel me? But then, like, as we driving down the street, it's me and my boy in the car. I'm like, oh, I got to take him to the city because he live in the city. I'm like, hold on now. These rainbow lights, two black men in a, in a coupe in the city of Atlanta with rainbow lights. I don't know about that. Oh my God, really? <laughs> I'm dead ass. I was like, oh, I don't know about that, bro. Like, I hit him up and, like, he answered right away or whatever. I'm like, yo, what? Well, how I change these lights? You know what I'm saying? What app I got to use? And he, you feel me? He told me the app sat there about an hour. I sat out by the crib about an hour, bro, before I took my boy back to his house. Finally changed the lights. I'm like, ah, yeah, that's cool. Hey, man, you know, you can't, you can't be too careful. Man. I mean, what's the first thing I said to you, though? I was like, babe, how we, how we, is there a way you could change the lights? Well, I was like, can you? Yeah. <laughs> just because it was very flamboyant, you know. Even for me, I'm just like, it's giving Barney, you know. That's, that's not the vibe we was going for. It's giving Barney. Barney. With the purple and the yellow. And Barney the dinosaur? Yeah. Well, the Barney, you know. So don't act like you don't know your age. Like you didn't grow up on Barney. Come out. If you had said Tinky Winky from from tele, from uh, but see, Teletubbies, I was, I was I grown already. I didn't really watch Teletubbies. I got excited oh. about Barney. I watched Teletubbies because people were saying it was gay. So I went on PBS and like tried to see what they were talking about. But I didn't grow up on Teletubbies. They used to try to come at my boy Barney too, man. They used to say my boy Barney was. Barney a real nigga. First of all. Barney was a real nigga. Yeah. Explain to me how Barney was a real. Y'all hear this? How was Barney a real? I, I got to hear you this. I bet Barney was a Libra. Oh my God. Here we go with the. Uh, no, because like he was real, like full of joy, always going to see people happy. But on the other side, Barney didn't play that shit. That's why he always stayed ready. How, what did Barney do to stay ready? What did, what? He always had his bag. Oh my he, God. He always had his bag of tools. That take preparation. That's the, that's that, That's a mindset of a warrior. I'm just saying. It's, I'm just saying. Think about it. Really think about it. 